Welcome back. I hope that you all are fine. Today I am going to discuss on integration by pairs. Here, integration u v d x equals u integration v d x minus integration d d x u integration v d x d x. In this formula, there are two functions. One of them is the u, another is the v. Both of them are the function of x. In this formula, we'll, found, we'll find um, one function v. We should do integration and again, we should do differentiate the another function u. But when we'll do integration and when we'll do differentiation, dear audience, you should remember that the integration of the function, that means the function whose integration is not known to us, we should take that function as u, that means first function. And here we consider that the integration of u is not known to us, that is why we consider here u is the first function. We can use this formula in some an example and let's start. Here the first problem is integrate x to the power x dx. Dear audience, you will find that your x and e to the power x between these two functions, that means x and u to the power x, um, we know the integration of the both functions. But if we take x as a um, u and e to the power x as a v, sorry, sorry for the interruption, perhaps my Wi Fi is open, so we need to shut down that. Dear audience, here the first function is x and second function is e to the power x and we consider x as a first function and that means u and e to the power x as a v. Then applying the formula here we get x then the integration of the second function e to the power x minus integration the differentiation of the first function x into integration of the second function e to the power x dx. Now we know that the integral of e to the power x is the e to the power x and the differentiation of x is 1. So we can write integration of e to the power x dx. Now doing the integration of e to the power x we get e to the power x. So ultimately, we get x to the power x minus to the power x plus c. Dear audience, here the second problem. Second problem is here. Integration x ln x dx. Here um, we found that there are two functions. One of them is the x and another is the ln of x. Dear audience, between these two functions, we know that we don't know what is the integration of ln of x dx. That is why we take ln x as a first function u and x as a second function v. So applying the formula we get ln of x integration of x dx minus integration derivative of the first function ln of x into integration of the second function x dx dx then uh, integrating we get x squared by 2 and in place of ln of x i put here ln of x and inside the integration sign we get the derivative of ln of x is 1 by x so uh, we put here 1 by x and integrating of x dx is the x squared by 2. Now after calculation we get 
the x squared by 2 ln of x minus integration of x by 2 dx. Here uh, we can uh, put the half outside the integration sign then we get um, half of x half of integration x dx then the integration of x is the x squared by 2 so ultimately we get x squared by 2 ln of x minus x squared by 4 plus c where c is the integral constant dear audience here the another problem which is the ln of x Dear audience, here one function is implied. Which function is implied here? 1. Because we know that if we multiply ln x by 1, then it will remain unchanged. And that is why 1 is the implied function here. So, again, if, uh, between these two functions, that means ln of x and 1, um, we know we don't know what is the integration integral of the ln of x. That is why we consider ln x as a first function u. Now we're applying the formula we get ln of x integration of the second function dx minus integration derivative of the first function into integration of the second function dx. Then the integration of dx is x so we can write x ln x and in the second term uh, we will find that integration derivative of ln of x is 1 by x so I put here and integration of uh, dx is x now x x will be cancelled next line we can write x ln x is integration 1 dx then it is also then it also can be written as x ln x minus x plus c where c is the integral constant dear audience I am going to solve another problem which is the integrate the sine ln of x dx to your audience here you will find that sine ln of x and dx somebody say that sine is the one, uh, one function and ln is the another function but I want to say sorry that um, sine after sine um, the function is considered here is the angle func angular functions angle functions angle that is if we consider sine is the one function and ln is the another function and um, it is the wrong concept the right concept concept is the year um, another function is implied that means it is not seen we have to make it visible uh, how will you make it visible we know that if we multiply sine ln of x by 1 then it won't be changed that means one is the year um, another function but we don't know what is the integral of sine of ln of x but we know the derivative of sine of ln of x that is why we consider sine of ln of x as a first function u and one as a second function p then applying the formula we get sine of ln of x integration 1 dx integration derivative of second uh, function sorry first function sine of ln of x into integration of second function 1 dx and after calculation we get here um, after calculation we get here x sine ln of x minus integration cos of x ln of x dx Again, applying the integration, uh, the same formula in case of uh, integration cos of ln of x dx, we get cos of ln of x uh, integration 1 dx minus integration d dx cos of ln of x into integration 1 dx dx. Then after doing calculation, we get here uh, cos ln of x into x integration uh, minus sine of ln of x into 1 by x into x dx and after simplification we get x cos of ln of x plus integration sine of ln of x dx it is the given function and if we consider um, integration sine ln of x dx as a i then the 
this expression become this uh, um, equ equality becomes i equals x sine of ln of x minus x cos of ln of x minus i. If we after intermission we get two uh, i equals x sine of ln of x minus x cos of ln of x. That means here the minus i was on the right side of the equal sign then if we bring it to the left side then it becomes plus then i plus i means 2i here i have written here 2i then i equals half x of sine of ln of x minus x cos of ln of x plus c dear audience i hope that you could understand today's lesson and again i will come along with a new video tutorial till then goodbye